For the third successive year in the month of August, Karnataka is hit by extremely heavy spells of rainfall causing widespread devastation. 13 of Karnataka's 30 districts have been ravaged by floods this year and the state is staring at a possible shortage of funds. This year, places such as Bhagamandla, Kottigar and surrounding areas received in excess of 1000 mm rainfall in a span of just 3 to 4 days. Bhagamandla received 419 mm rainfall on the day ending August 6th which is said to be the highest single day rainfall in Karnataka. Preliminary assessment report by the government estimated that around 83,000 acres of crops were damaged. Landslides triggered by heavy rainfall caused losses to life and property and more than 3,000 houses suffered damages. Now the government faces the challenge of taking up works for the recent damages even as opposition raised complaints over incomplete relief works of the floods in 2019 itself which were said to be the worst in the century. For the year 2020-21, state disaster relief fund allocation for Karnataka was 1054 crore rupees of which 75% is the central government share and the rest is Karnataka's share. The first installment of 395 crore rupees was credited to the STRF in April itself and the funds are being used for various expenses to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 300 crore rupees of the STRF funds were spent by the end of June itself with the cost for various measures to control and treat patients affected by COVID-19 climbing by the day. In the video conference with Prime Minister Narendra Modi on August 10th, the state government sought the second installment of STRF funds after parts of Karnataka suffered heavy rainfall for the third year in a row. The state government is also expecting NDRF funds to tie to the crisis. Meanwhile, Revenue Minister R. Ashoka has said that Karnataka has enough funds and 1,120 crore rupees in the PD accounts of Deputy Commissioners of various districts will be used for relief measures. Karnataka, however, was hard done by in terms of allocations to the state by the centre over the past few years. The problem associated with lack of adequate allocations from the centre is expected to be compounded as Karnataka plans for long-term measures to address the problem of landslides and floods. Plans for landslide hazard mapping, real-time integrated flood reporting and response systems are now being proposed. The government is also planning to build permanent relief centres equipped with kitchen, dining halls, toilets, hospital and library facilities across 10 flood-prone districts in the state. However, with the pandemic crippling the economy, Karnataka will face more than a challenge in terms of relief and rehabilitation, initiating measures for flood control and preventing landslides across flood-prone areas in the coming days.